This military report is brought to you by Coleman University. All right, we're getting our first look inside a new concept the VA hopes will help Iraq and Afghan veterans with post-traumatic stress. The soon to open Aspire Center has been three years in the making. But not without controversy, 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence with what many believe will be the key to its success. We met Jonathan Pebley on the left and Brandon Wingle at Veterans Village in 2009. Pebley was just out of the Marines and Wingle just out of the Navy. Uh, we met in jail. You met in jail? Yeah. <laughs> both had PTSD and both struggled with the aftermath of war. Retired Marine Staff Sergeant Chris Warren knows it all too well. I felt lost. I felt like um, that I had no purpose. Warren was in an artillery unit in Iraq, but when he got out in 2006, he, like so many, had a tough time. What we want to, to understand is you're reacting, you're having a normal reaction to an abnormal situation. So before veterans like Brandon and Jonathan get into trouble, the VA wants them in here, the Aspire Center. Well, the program is very unique. There's no program like it in the country. Jeff Gearing, the director of the VA Medical Center. The Aspire Center is a 40-bed facility, a temporary haven for veterans who haven't had any success with outpatient PTSD programs. One of the key parts of this facility is not the amenities, of which there, of course, will be plenty, but it is the veteran staff who will be a part of it, those who have been there and done that. Veterans turned employee like Chris Warren. And then this is the nurse's station. But the facility in the old Thomas Jefferson Law School building ran into neighborhood opposition, specifically from Old Town Academy School across the street. But ultimately, both agreed to terms and conditions that were favorable to both. For those who have been to war and back. You know, we all share something similar. Now they'll share a goal to get well. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. The official ribbon cutting is next week with veterans moving in in the week after the VA hopes that the center in San Diego will be the example that other cities will follow.